Lightburn provides several options for determining where graphics in your digital workspace will output in your machine's physical work area. Often the best method to use will vary based on the machine you use, the job itself, and personal preferences. We previously covered the three different start from modes available. You'll need to familiarize yourself with how these modes work as this video builds off of them. By default, Lightburn outputs all graphics in your workspace to your laser when you press start, send, or save a project in G-code or RD format. This works well if you have one design in each project, but is less ideal when storing multiple design elements within the same project file. In this scenario, the cut selected graphics option provides a greater degree of control. Located in the laser window, cut selected graphics is enabled by clicking the toggle next to it. When active, only the selected portions of your project will be sent to the laser. This means you can have any number of designs in your workspace without having to place ones you don't want to run on disabled layers or move them outside of your workspace completely. To use this mode, click on the arrow icon at the top of the left toolbar or press the escape key to enable the selection tool. Then select the design in your workspace you want to send to the laser. If there are multiple objects you want to send that are not grouped together, click and drag to select them all, being careful that the result is only the content you wish to send. If your shapes are grouped, you might need to ungroup them to get just the selection you want. Clicking the monitor icon in the top toolbar will open the preview window, where we can verify our selection before we run the job. Since we have cut selected graphics enabled, only our selection is previewed. If you have this mode enabled but have not made a selection, you'll get a pop-up warning letting you know and giving you the option to turn off cut selected graphics mode or to click OK, make your selection and run the job. Another case where this feature comes in handy is if you run a job and only a portion of your design cuts all the way through. Instead of rerunning the entire job or deleting portions, just enable cut selected graphics and select the specific portions you need to rerun. With cut selected graphics active, you also have the option to enable use selection origin, which is often extremely helpful for job positioning when you have multiple designs in your workspace. While job origin is fixed when using absolute coordinates, both the user origin and current position start from modes position output relative to custom origin points. And unless use selection origin is enabled, Lightburn takes all objects in your project into account when determining origin and positioning, regardless of whether they're selected or not. When you have a single design or intend to run all designs at once, this works great. But when you only want to cut selected graphics, it can make job positioning trickier. With use selection origin enabled, only the object or objects you have currently selected are considered for the job origin. You still get full control over which job origin point you want to use for your selection, but non-selected graphics will have no influence over its placement. In some cases, like the example given earlier on rerunning just one part of a project that didn't cut through, you'll want to make sure use selection origin is disabled. Using the entire project for determining origin will ensure that the selected graphics you're rerunning are properly aligned to the initial run. Now you know how cut selected graphics and use selection origin can be used to give you precise control over job output in complex projects. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos on mastering Lightburn.